That was barely worth the effort, Adagio. I'm tired of fast food. I need a meal. The energy in this world isn't the same as in Equestria. We can only gain so much power here. Oh, I wish we'd never been banished to this awful place. Really? I love it here. For realsies? Because I think this place is the worst. I think you're the worst, Sonata. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're... Ugh. I'll tell you one thing. Being stuck here with you two isn't making this world any more bearable. Equestrian magic. But this world doesn't have equestrian magic. It does now. And we're going to use it to make everyone in this pathetic little world adore us. Want some help? Uh, no thanks. We're good. Oh, okay. Sunset Shimmer! Over here! <sighs> I had no idea the whole school would be here. Quite the eye-catching advertisement, if I do say so myself. And it smells like cake! It does? I use frosting instead of paste! Uh, Fluttershot, you got a little something, uh... Did I get it? <laughs> Not exactly. Good afternoon, students. I just wanted to tell you all how pleased I am that so many of you are going to participate in the first ever Canterlot High School Musical Showcase. <laughs> this is a wonderful opportunity to raise money for all our after school programs here at CHS. So keep working on those signs and posters. I think it's going to be one of the most exciting events we've had at CHS since the fall formal. Uh, 
Uh, I am never gonna live that down. You were pretty bad at the fall formal. A demon. I turned into a raging she-demon. And tried to turn everyone here into teenage zombies for your personal army. Oh, darling, you have us, and we've forgiven you for your past <clears throat> boo-boos. To be honest, I'd say the whole experience brought everyone at Canterlot High closer than ever before. One, two, three! There was a time we were apart, but that's behind us now. See how we've made a brand new start, and the future's looking up. Oh, oh. And when you walk these halls, you feel it everywhere. Yeah, we're the Wonder Colts forever. Maybe some clip-on earrings for when I get those adorable pony ears. I just wonder why it happens. Princess Twilight took her crown back to Equestria. Shouldn't that mean she took all the magic back with her? Who cares why it happens? It makes my band totally awesome! Oh, your band? Duh! It was my idea to start the Rain Boom so we could be in the showcase. Plus, I'm the lead singer and guitarist. Uh, heard you outside. You guys are sounding really tight. Uh, we're getting there. Rarity's still coming in a little late on the second verse, and Applejack's bass solo could use a little work. They'll get it together in time for the showcase. Uh, I don't suppose any of our friends from, uh, out of town might come? Uh, it being a special charity event and all. Sorry, Flash. I don't think Twilight's gonna be back at Canterlot High anytime soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I just, you know, thought I'd ask. Uh, keep on rocking it. Well, someone is quite the smitten kitten. <laughs> oh, sorry. I always forget you and Flash used to be an item. It's okay. Flash is a great guy and all, but I never really liked him, liked him. I was just using him to become more popular. Ugh, the old me really was just awful, wasn't she? Mm, sorry. <laughs> But the important thing is that you've turned yourself around. Uh, thanks, Applejack. But I'm not sure everyone else at CHS feels the same way. Sunset Shimmer, please report to the main foyer. Gotta run. I volunteered to show some new students around the school. Thought it'd be good for them to get to know the new me before they heard all the stuff about the old me. We've still got a few minutes before lunch starts. What do you say we do awesome as I want to be? Um, Rainbow Dash? I was wondering if we could maybe play the song I wrote. We'll get to it. Oh, okay. Hi, are you the girls I'm supposed to show around? We are. Canterlot High is a great school. You're really gonna love it. Oh, yes. We really sense there's something magical about this place. That's the science lab. Computer lab is in there. Oh, we're having a big musical showcase this weekend. The whole school is pretty much rallying around it. A um, musical showcase? I'm sure since you're new, Principal Celestia would let you sign up if you're interested. 
we have been known to sing from time to time. Hello! We sing, like, all the time. It's how we get people to do what we want. <clears throat> what, what did I say? What you meant to say was that being in a musical showcase sounds like a great way to meet other students. Oh, yeah. What you said I meant to say. That's what I meant. To say. <sighs> and what you would have said if you weren't the worst. You are! You'll have to excuse them. They're idiots. <laughs> Those are pretty. Where did you... <laughs> Sorry. These pendants mean an awful lot to us. We just hate for anything to happen to them. was a tour I don't know I mean these girls they were there was something off about them like off like this or off like this or, or oh, like maybe we should just let her tell us that's just it I can't put my finger on it they just acted sort of strange around me maybe someone already talked to them told them about what I did oh so much for making a good first impression uh-huh Oh, that's probably not it. This is it, girls. The moment we've been waiting for. Lunch? Oh, the chance to get our true equestrian magic back. Oh, right. Our voices are just strong enough to make them want something so badly, they'll fight to get it. So we're just going to do what we always do? Stir up some trouble and then feed off the negative energy? Some plan, Adagio. It won't be the same as the times before. There is equestrian magic here. Their negative energy will give us the power we need to get this entire world to do our bidding. But we can get lunch after, though, right? It's Taco Tuesday! Just follow my lead. Or my lead. My lead.
Those three are definitely in possession of some kind of dark magic. How else could you explain what happened back there? Don't worry, y'all. We let Principal Celestia know all about this, and those girls will be kicked to the curb in no time. Last thing she needs is another CHS event almost ruined by some power-crazed lunatic. Uh, no offense. <sighs> None taken. Dark magic? I find that very hard to believe. Those girls came into my office earlier and were absolutely delightful. Uh, perhaps Sunset Shimmer is just eager to make someone else out to be a bad element, so that her actions at the Fall Formal will become old news. I could see why you might think that, but... That's not what's happening. We saw all of this go down in the cafeteria, too. Yes, but isn't your band supposed to be part of the musical showcase? Yes. Perhaps you're all just worried that the Dazzlings will steal your spotlight. The Dazzlings? It's the name of their musical group. That's why they came by my office earlier, to sign up for the showcase. Even sang a little song to Vice Principal Luna and I. They did? Yes. And we think having a battle of the bands instead is a marvelous idea. I can't believe they got to Principal Celestia and Vice Principal Luna, too. They've gotten to everybody. Not everybody! Pinkie Pie's right. We were there when the Dazzlings were singing, and we weren't affected. It was like we were protected somehow. So let's take them down! It's not like we haven't tangled with dark magic before and totally whooped it sorry, but... Uh, no offense. <sighs> None taken. Again. But that was when Twilight was here. There may be some kind of magic inside us, but it only comes out when we play music. I sure don't know how to use it to whoop anybody's butt. Oh, if only we could get a message to Twilight. Maybe she could tell us how to break the spell the Dazzlings have cast on our friends. Well, that's not gonna happen. The portal's closed. <gasps> and I get the feeling they don't exactly have cell phones where she's from. I may have an idea how we can get in touch with Princess Twilight. When I was Princess Celestia's student back in Equestria, she gave me this. Even after I abandoned my studies, I held on to it. Deep down, I guess I knew I was making a big mistake, and I wanted to still have a way to reach out to her. Maybe it still works. That's a book, darling. What do you mean, maybe still works? It used to be that if I wrote something here, it would appear in the pages of a book back in Princess Celestia's library. I get a message to her, then she can get a message to Princess Twilight. So what are you waiting for? Get to writing! Huh. Been a long time since I've written these words. Dear Princess Celestia. Excuse me, Princess. Where do you want all these books from Princess Celestia? The library. Third door on the left. Even this one that's glowing and vibrating? What is it, Twilight? It looks like a message to Princess Celestia from my friends at Canterlot High. How is that even possible? I have no idea, but it sounds like they need my help. The way Sunset Shimmer described them, I think these new girls sound an awful lot like the Sirens. Not the Sirens! I don't actually know what that is. The Sirens were three beautiful but dangerous creatures who had the power to charm ponies with their music. 
But to maintain this power, they had to feed on the negativity and distrust of others. The more of this negative energy they consumed, the stronger their voices became, and the farther they could spread their dark magic. I don't think I like this story very much. If the Sirens had their way, they would have divided and conquered all of Equestria. But a certain Star Swirl of Bearded wasn't having it. Rumor has it, he found a way to banish them to another world. One where he believed their magic power would be lost. That world must have been the one where my Canterlot High friends live. But Star Swirl must have sent them there ages ago. How come they're just surfacing now? I don't know, but if my hunch is right, and it is the Sirens who've come to Canterlot High, this spell they've cast is just the beginning. My friends need me. I have to get back to them. I hate to burst your bubble, Twilight, but the connection between their world and Equestria will still be totally cut off for a super long time. Okay, first of all, if there was bubble blowing going on, why wasn't I told about it? And secondly, if the connection is totally cut off, how was Sunset Shimmer able to get a message to Twilight? <gasps> Pinky, you're a genius. Yeah, I get that a lot. Now about those bubbles. And the interval between the two points is defined as the square root of the sum of the squares of the separation between the points along three spatial dimensions. Say what now? Duh! She's gonna take the magic in here and put it in there. That'll make the portal open up so that whenever she wants to, she can go from here to there. There to here. Here to there. Here to there. Here to there. Here to we get the idea. Now to see if it actually works. suppose we could join you this time around? Better not. It could make things pretty confusing if Canterlot High all of a sudden had two of all of you. Oh, oh right. Right. But I still get to go, right? There isn't another one of me at Canterlot High, and you never know when you might need your trusty assistant. Mm-hmm. Yes! We won't be gone long. Oh, well, you'll be safe there. Yeah. And don't forget to dress for Ready, Spike? Ready! I think she's not coming. Twilight! Ooh, I'm back. Oh, Twilight! Twilight! And I've got some bad news about those new girls. to return in a time of crisis. We have so much catching up to do. For starters, a certain blue-haired guitar player was just asking about you. Last century was asking about me? <clears throat> Isn't that nice? Perhaps you could give us just the slightest bit of gossip from your world? She's got an official title now. Da -da -da -da! The Princess of Crenshit! Wow, that's really impressive. Guess you really were Princess Celestia's prize pupil. She's even got her own castle. A uh, castle? You have your own castle? Uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, lovely. 
What's new here? I mean, besides your school becoming the target of dangerous magical creatures from Equestria. Yeah, so that isn't exactly the only strange thing that's happened since you left. Pretty sweet, huh? It happens to all of us when we play. Hmm. My crown was returned to Equestria, but some of its magic must have remained here at Canterlot High. Now that we're all back together, we can use that magic on the sirens, just like when we were able to use it on Sunset Shimmer when she turned into that horrifyingly awful winged monster. No offense. None taken. <laughs> I'm used to it. They'll never even know what hit them. We've got nothing to worry about now that Twilight's back. Oh, I'm pretty sure I could find something to worry about. But it won't be the sirens. The sooner we do this, the better. Any idea where the Dazzlings might be? There's a big party tonight for all the bands who signed up to be in the showcase. That would include the Dazzlings. Looks like we've got a party to crash. I'm gonna get more punch. Twilight? Uh, bumped into always doing. Uh, what are you doing here? You came back for the big competition, right? Something like that. <laughs> now that there's gonna be any real competition, no one here wants this as bad as my band does. Excuse me for just a minute. Oh no! No one's mingling! It's like there's some kind of underlying tension that could bubble to the surface at any minute. It's a fruit punch, isn't it? Too much grape juice. It's not the fruit punch, it's us. But the punch is awful, too. What do you know about good fruit punch? More than you. Do not. Do too. This is just the kickoff party, girls. Imagine what a tizzy they'll be in by the time the Battle of the Bands starts. There isn't going to be a Battle of the Bands. We're gonna make sure of that. All right, girls, let's do this. Friendship is magic! <laughs> uh, weren't there rainbows and lasers and stuff last time? I don't understand. We're all together again. Why isn't this working? You, uh, really need to go ahead and do that whole magic of friendship thing now. I'm trying, Spike. I thought the six of us standing together against the sirens would bring out the magic we needed to defeat them. That's what happened before. Talk about throwing down the gauntlet. This group is obviously serious about winning. A little cocky, though, aren't they? Claiming there won't really be a battle. Seems they think they've already got this thing all locked up. Not at the great and powerful Trixie has anything to do with it. Whatever, Trixie. We're the best band at CHS. No, the Crusaders are gonna win. I think we may have found what we're looking for. Or rather, it found us. Magic! Don't you see? Everyone else has fallen under our spell. But not these girls. These girls are special. 
It doesn't make any sense. I should have been able to create the spark that would help us break their spell. That's how it worked before. But to defeat me, you drew magic from the crown I was wearing. The Siren's magic comes from their music. So maybe you have to use the same kind of magic to defeat them! Or maybe not. No, I think you're onto something. Really? It's when you play music that you transform now, right? Yep, ears, tails, the whole shebang. So maybe the way to use that magic to defeat the Sirens is by playing a musical counterspell. You mean, like a song? Uh-huh. And in order to free everyone who's been exposed to the siren spell, we'll need them all to hear it. Hmm. <gasps> the band competition! That's the next time we can be certain everyone will be in the same place at the same time. Guess the Rain Booms are the band to beat. And I believe you, Twilight, just became the Rain Booms' newest member. <laughs> 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 so, what do you want to play? Triangle? Suzaphone? There a man? So magical. I might take a little too long to learn how to play something with these. I'll just sing. Like, as in lead singer? Cause that's usually my gig. This being my band and all. It's our band. And of course is lead singer. She's the one with the magical know-how to help us pull this thing off. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I'll just use this as a chance to hone my already insanely good lead guitar skills. It's only temporary, and we don't have to win the battle of the bands. We just have to perform during the first round of the competition. So let's get to learning that musical counterspell. Well, that's just it. I don't know any. Aww. <sighs> But I'm sure I could figure out how to write one. Totally! Twilight can write a spell like it's nobody's business. And that's pretty much how she got to become a princess in Equestria. Technically, I helped finish a spell. And there was a little more to it than that, Spike. Yeah, whatever. I've got this. Come on. Where are you going? Well, last time we were here, Spike and I spent the night in the library. Are you crazy? We're besties now! Slipper party in my house! Update. Okie dokie, Loki! Hey! I was about to beat you! I doubt it. So, Twilight, how is that counterspell coming? Huh? Oh, uh, good. Great. Thanks for letting me use your notebook, Fluttershy. I really like the song you wrote for the Rain Booms. Thanks. <sighs> Hopefully one day we'll get a chance to play it. <laughs> Twilight, I think I speak for all of us when I say I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't come back to help us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, that's not gonna work. Hey, Twilight. You're up late. Just looking over the counterspell. We only get one shot at this. It has to be perfect. We really are lucky you're here. That's what everyone keeps telling me. Who could possibly need this much whipped cream? Must be nice to have everyone always looking to you for answers to their problems, instead of waiting for you to cause a problem. Just because everyone expects something from you, doesn't mean it's guaranteed to happen. That doesn't stop them from expecting it. 
which only makes things harder because the last thing you want to do is let, let everybody, everybody down. down. Boulder was hungry. I still can't get over the fact that she's related to Pinkie Pie. You and me both. <sighs> I better get some sleep. Good luck with the counterspell. Not that you'll need it. This must be nothing compared to the stuff you're expected to deal with as a princess in Equestria. Sunset Shimmer? Never mind. It's not important. No. I have to be able to do this. I have to. than the last five times you played it. <laughs> nope. I think it's pretty obvious what's going wrong with this counterspell. You're turning what should be the chorus into a five-minute guitar solo? I have to pick up the slack somehow. Are you guys even trying? I'm trying. It's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. One more time from the top. Perhaps we could take a short break. Try on some of the wardrobe choices I've put together. I'm particularly fond of this one. Uh, of course, we could always go with something a bit more modern. We're trying to save our school here. Enough with the costumes. Oh, you can never have enough costumes. She just wants to make things fun. Isn't that what being in a band is supposed to be? You don't have time for any of this. You're supposed to check in at the Battle of the Bands in 15 minutes. <gasps> what? No! But, but it's not ready. If we play the counter spell in the first round and it doesn't work, the sirens will know what we're up to and make sure we don't get a chance to play it again. Then we'll have to buy ourselves some time so you can keep working on it. And how do you propose we do that? We compete in the battle of the bands for real. I take over lead vocals again, and we stay alive until the finals. We unleash the counter spell then. You'll have figured it out by the finals, right? Of course she will. Twilight Sparkle's never met a problem she couldn't solve. Right, Twilight? Right. Then let's go win us a battle of the fans. Welcome to the first ever Cantalot High School Battle of the Bands. I believe I speak for everyone when I say it is by far the greatest thing we have ever done here at this school. We are so glad our three newest students encouraged us to turn this event into something exciting. But as this is now a competition, we can only choose one winner. Who is it going to be? You feel that, girls? Our true power is being restored. <laughs> And that's before we've tapped into the strongest magic here. But the rain blossoms, or whatever they're called, aren't under our spell. How exactly are we supposed to get to their magic? The rain booms are just as capable of falling apart as anyone else. They just need a little push in the wrong direction. 
I have a feeling everyone here is going to be lining up to give them a shove. Oh yeah, Snips and Snails in the house, yo. They call me MC Snips, and it ain't no lie. My favorite food is like pumpkin pie. I'm Gigi Snazzy Snails. I like whales. When I go to the beach, I always bring my pail. <laughs> Everybody knows my favorite color is orange. My rhymes are so fly, they're better than, um... Than an orange, yo! Yeah! Yeah! Represent! <laughs> what do we do? How do we, we get now? off the stage? I'd like to leave right now. <laughs> Bam! That just happened! Oh, yeah! We Get out. snails out of here! Please do not drop the microphones. Yeah! Bam! <laughs> in your face, rain booms. Least we know one group who won't stand in the way of us getting to the finals. Let's get ready to rock! Wait, where's Rarity? Oh, here! I'm here! <sighs> we will be performing in front of an audience. I'm not going to wear something fabulous? <sighs> Remember, we have to be good enough to make it through, but not so good we let the sirens see the magic within us. They could realize we plan to use it against them. Got it. Be cool enough to win, but not so cool that we end up showing off the whole ears and tails and rainbows thing. So, about 20% less cool. We've just got the day to get ready And there's only so much time to lose Because tonight, yeah, we're here to party So let's think of something fun to do We don't know what's gonna happen We just know it's gonna feel right All our friends are here and it's time to ignite if you didn't insist on dressing like, like this. We need to sound good. Is there some reason that concept seems to escape you? And what was with the confetti, Pinkie Pie? How am I supposed to shred if there's paper stuck in my frets? It was pretty distracting. Ah, said the girl who was ready for the light the whole time. All right! You still sounded much better than most of the other bands. I'm sure you'll make it to the next round, but it won't matter if you don't have that counter spell ready. You all find a place to practice where the sirens can't hear you. I'll keep an eye on things around here.
I don't think we should use a classroom. <laughs> we really need to stop bumping into each other like this. Uh, you guys hear something? Uh, uh nope. I said, we have to stop- There it is again! So annoying. Why are you acting like this? I thought we were friends. Yeah, and then you decided to come back here just so you could beat me in the Battle of the Bands. I want this, Twilight, and you're trying to take it from me. Some friend. That's not why- Come I... on, Twilight. We've got things to do. You really think you're gonna help them? <laughs> I bet you have no idea what you're even doing. <laughs> Tears already? This is only the first round. <laughs> <laughs> The next band to take the stage will be Trixie and the Illusion. Better head back. We're supposed to go on after Trixie. You're never gonna get away with this. Why? Because you didn't? Oh, we know all about you, Sunset Shimmer. You've got quite the reputation at Canterlot High. I've changed. I'm in a much better place now. Waiting in the wings while your friends have all the fun? Oh, yes. You girls are so tight. And yet, they didn't ask you to be in the band. Probably afraid no one would want to see them play if she was in the group. Too bad. So sad. If it's any consolation, no one is going to remember you at all by the time we're done. Remember, girls, we want to save the good stuff for when our full power has been restored. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, you didn't know that you fell. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, now that you're under our spell. Blindsided by the beat, clapping your hands, stomping your feet. You didn't know that you fell. Oh, now you're falling under our spell. and you're in the finals. Unless you think the counter spell is ready to be played now. Don't worry, Twilight. Finals aren't until tonight. We'll get in a little more practice before we're supposed to hit the stage. We won't let you down. Okay. Yeah! You won't let me down. Um, I was just wondering. We haven't played any of my songs yet. And... It's the semifinals. We gotta do awesome as they wanna be. Don't know why I even asked. Tricks up my sleeve See me dominate Cause I'm powerful and great yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> You're never gonna top that performance, Rain Goons You shouldn't be allowed to When you have such a big advantage over the rest of us My superior guitar playing and off the charts awesome singing voice 
Don't be ridiculous. I mean her. If you were really all that, Rainbow Dash, you wouldn't have needed to bring in some magical ringer to have half a chance. Everyone's talking about it. <laughs> Please! I could win this thing as a solo act, and everybody knows it! <laughs> sure you could. <laughs> Rainbooms. Knock them dead, Rainbooms! I'll be here. Just watching. Now that's the bad girl we love to hate. I knew she was still trouble. The real Sunset Shiver is back. No, it isn't like that. What was that? You were showing them your magic. I, I didn't know what else to do. Uh, close the curtains, unplug her amp, give us the chance to deal with the situation? I'm sorry, I just wanted to help. Yeah, well, you did it. None of this would have happened if you weren't trying to show off, as usual. Good show, Rain Brooms. I especially like the part where Sunset Shimmer, in a fit of jealous rage, knocked out Rainbow Dash mid-guitar solo. It wasn't a fit of jealous rage! If you say so. Ooh, looks like they've already decided who'll be moving on to the finals. I'm guessing it wasn't too difficult a decision. What can we do? There isn't going to be another opportunity for us to play. And I had the most gorgeous outfit for the finals. Yep, because that's the real tragedy here, Rarity, that you won't get to play dress up. You know perfectly well that is not what I meant. You guys want to keep it down? They're about to announce who's moving on. Who are you kidding? You know it isn't going to be us. The band that will be joining the Dazzlings in tonight's finals, the Rainbooms. What? Huh? What? Did they just say the Rainbooms? This isn't over. Congratulations, girls. You deserve it. Seriously? We didn't even finish our... See you at tonight's big show, Rain Booms. We are really looking forward to it. Yeah, well, not as much as we are. <laughs> this never should have been you, Rain Booms. don't deserve to be in the finals, not when your band was so much better in the semis. And wanted it so much more. Alas, this is the way it's going to be. Dazzlings versus Rainbooms. Unless, of course, the Rainbooms don't manage to make it to their set. Or held up for some reason. Hmm. <laughs> Check, one, two. Testing, testing. This doesn't make any sense. We were awful. 
Doesn't anybody else think it's strange that we're the ones that made it to the finals? Very strange. What are you doing here, Trixie? Pretty sure the losers are supposed to be up there in the cheap seats. The great and powerful Trixie is the most talented girl at Canterlot High. It is I who deserve to be in the finals. And I will not be denied. <laughs> <laughs> See you never! <laughs> Told you someone would give them a shove. She didn't shove them. She pulled the lever. Ugh, go back to sleep, Sonata. You better believe I got tricks up my sleeve. And I captivate, cause I'm powerful and gray. Yeah, yeah. Tricks up my sleeve, see me dominate, cause I'm powerful and great. Give it up, Rainbow Dash. You've been trying at this for hours. It's not gonna open. Maybe it doesn't even matter that we're trapped down here. I don't think the counter spell would have worked anyway. Of course it would have worked, Twilight. Assuming a certain band member didn't try to hog the spotlight the whole time we were trying to play it. Hey, if you want to tell Twilight she's getting a little too caught up trying to be the new leader of this band, you don't have to be all cryptic about it. She was talking about you, Rainbow Dash. Me? I'm just trying to make sure my band rocks as hard as it needs to. Our, Our band. band! But why wasn't it working? I should know what to do. How can I not know what to do? How can I have failed like this? It might have been your idea to start a band, but it's not just your band, Rainbow Dash. I'm the one who writes all the songs. I write songs. You just never let us play any of them. I had the most perfect outfits for us to wear. Again with the costumes. No one cares what we're wearing. I care, Applejack. So sorry if I enjoy trying to make a creative contribution to the band. they've been after all along. They're feeding off of the magic inside you. How can they be using our magic? It's the magic of friendship. Ever since you started this band, you've been letting little things get to you. I never said anything because I didn't feel like it was my place. Not when I was so new to this whole friendship thing. I still have a lot to learn, but I do know that if you don't work out even the smallest problems right at the start, the magic of friendship can be turned into something else. I can't believe all this tension was happening right under my nose and I didn't realize it. I'm supposed to be the one with all the answers. And all I've done since I got here is let you down. I don't think anyone is supposed to have all the answers. 
but you can count on your friends to help you find them. I think you already have. Come on, we need to get out of here. Spike! Sorry I took so long. I had to find somebody who wasn't under the siren spell to help me get you out. Why isn't she under their spell? Never takes off her headphones. Come on, y'all. Time to prove we've still got the magic of friendship inside us. And there's only one way to do it. We're getting the band back together? We're getting our band back together. Oh, which version of the counter spell are we going to play? I don't think it matters what song we play, as long as we play it together as friends. I know just the song. Fluttershy's written a really great one. Hmm. We're about to save the world here. Personally, I think we should do it in style. Rarity? I thought you'd never ask. Shimmer, we need you! Your 
never gonna bring me down you're never gonna break this part of me my friends are here to bring me around not singing just for popularity we're here to let you know Guess that explains why these were so special to them. Without those pendants and the magic you brought here from Equestria, they're just three harmless teenage girls. Rainboom's rule! That was amazing! <laughs> <laughs> you may have vanquished the Dazzlings, but you will never have the amazing, show-stopping ability of the great and powerful Trixie! <laughs> She's gone! Oh, wait. There she is. Trixie's okay. You know, Twilight is going back to Equestria soon. The Rainbooms could really use someone to help Fluttershy on backup vocals. <laughs> I also play guitar. We'll see. Sure wish you could stay longer. Me too. But I have responsibilities in Equestria that I have to get back to. Its citizens need me. But now... I can go through the portal whenever I need to. This isn't goodbye. It's just goodbye till next time. Ready? Ready! Dear Princess Twilight, missing you already and hope you'll be back soon. Things are definitely looking up for me here at Canterlot High, but I know I still have a lot to learn about friendship. Hope you don't mind if I write to you for advice when I need it. Your friend, Sunset Shimmer. You ready or what? Ready. Time. You came into my world and made the stars align Now I can see the signs You pick me up when I get down so I can shine Shine like rainbow Live 
lift us up so we can shine. No doubt about it, Spike. There's definitely something strange going on at that school. <laughs> 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 